The Young and the Restless Spoilers Saturday's Update, May 25, 2024 The quiet evening at the Abbott Mansion was disrupted by a series of intense conversations that would shape the days to come. Tucker McCall had managed to find a moment alone with Ashley, a rare occurrence given the tension between him and the Abbott family. As they sat in the elegant parlor, Tucker's demeanor was surprisingly sincere, or so it seemed. Ashley, Tucker began, his voice soft and tinged with regret, I've made so many mistakes. Betraying you is my biggest regret. I've hurt you, and I hate myself for it. Ashley listened, her expression guarded. She had heard Tucker's apologies before, and each time, they felt less genuine. Tucker, words are easy. You've said things like this before. How do I know you mean it this time? Tucker reached out, taking her hand in his. I understand your doubts, but I want to make things right. I still care about you deeply. In another room, Jack and Tracy Abbott observed the scene with growing concern. Jack's face was etched with anger. He's trying to worm his way back into her life, Tracy. I can't stand to see Ashley get hurt again. Tracy nodded, her eyes narrowing as she watched Tucker. He won't get away with this. I'll make sure Ashley knows she deserves better. There's no way I'll let Tucker manipulate her again. While the Abbott siblings debated Tucker's intentions, another part of town was dealing with its own set of conflicts. Michael Baldwin was deep in conversation with Cole, trying to offer some sage advice. Cole, sometimes the best course of action is to step back, Michael said, his tone measured. Victor will eventually face the consequences of his actions. You don't need to get directly involved. Cole's frustration was palpable. So, you're saying I should just do nothing? Jordan is suffering, and you're telling me to sit back and watch? Michael sighed, understanding Cole's anguish but standing by his advice. I'm saying that acting impulsively could make things worse. Let the situation unfold. Victor's arrogance will be his downfall. Feeling abandoned by Michael's advice, Cole decided he needed to seek help elsewhere. The first person who came to mind was Claire. As he made his way to her, his mind was a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. Claire had been enjoying a peaceful life, free from the shadows of Jordan's influence, and he dreaded disrupting her newfound tranquility. When Cole arrived at Claire's door, she greeted him with a warm smile, unaware of the storm brewing within him. Cole, what brings you here? You look troubled. Cole took a deep breath, unsure of how to begin. Claire, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Jordan. She's not dead, and she's in serious danger. Claire's expression shifted from curiosity to shock. What do you mean she's not dead? I thought everyone thought. I know, Cole interrupted, his voice urgent. Victor has her locked away. She's suffering, Claire. I don't know what to do. Claire's mind raced as she processed the revelation. Jordan had caused her so much pain, and the idea of helping her now was almost unbearable. Yet, a part of her couldn't ignore the human suffering involved. Cole, this is a lot to take in. Jordan hurt me, hurt us, but leaving her to die. I don't know if I can do that. Cole's eyes pleaded with her. I don't expect you to forgive her or even like her. But I can't just let her die. I need your help, Claire. Please. Claire wrestled with her emotions, torn between the desire for justice and the lingering resentment towards Jordan. Finally, she nodded. All right, Cole. I'll help you. But we need to be smart about this. If Victor finds out, it could get even worse. With Claire's reluctant agreement, Cole felt a glimmer of hope. Together, they began to formulate a plan, knowing that the road ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty. Back at the Abbott Mansion, the tension continued to simmer. Ashley was caught between her past feelings for Tucker and the reality of his betrayal, while Jack and Tracy remained vigilant, ready to protect their sister at all costs. The family was on the brink of another upheaval, and the coming days would test their bonds like never before. As night fell, both the Abbots and the Newmans faced uncertain futures. The choices they made would shape their lives in ways they couldn't yet foresee, and the lines between right and wrong, love and betrayal, would blur in the shadows of their intertwined destiny. <laughs>